It's been a crazy ride, hadn't it? You know, I'll give you a little um, history lesson that I, you know, they say history doesn't repeat, but it rhymes. You hope it doesn't repeat sometimes. Uh, this time, May of 2017, uh, we, at my site, we watched silver go down 18 days in a row. 18 days. I mean, red candle after red, it went from like 19 down to 16, whatever that is, like 15%. It was just laughable. Um, it, and we've talked about this a few times. We've alluded to this some a few times since. The, the One of the sentiment indicators you can follow is called a relative strength index, an RSI. And the lower that goes, the more oversold you are, you know, and sentiment is washed out. Anything below 30 is considered to be like washed out. Well, after 18 days in a row of going down, the RSI in silver in May of 2017 hit 18. And so we always joke, man, if you ever get a losing streak again that equals the RSI, it's probably a good time to buy. Uh, today, as we record this, silver is going to paint its 16, 16 red candles in a row. Um, the RSI yesterday was down to 25, so we're getting there. It's down to about 23. Um, History is repeating, which is frustrating. Uh, but we are at a point where we're one good washout away from being just, again, an extraordinarily uh, high percentage uh, opportunity uh, of risk versus reward. And um, so it is what it is. What's causing it? Uh, you know, remember, we, we've we talked about this a few times, especially uh, like back when I issued my annual forecast back in January. The, this, the analogous time period is the fourth quarter of 2018, when after four years of the Fed letting interest rates rise and uh, running off about $700 billion of their balance sheet, um, the market finally broke. The 10-year note got up to three and a quarter. It got to 320 yesterday. And the stock market broke. It fell about a little over 20% in the fourth quarter. And when it finally washed out down 20%, that was Powell pivot number one. And uh, we're headed toward Powell pivot number two. Unfortunately, we're not there yet, but it's coming. Um, and we can talk about that. Uh, as we entered 2019, all the Wall Street banks and the eight-figure economists were talking about four and five rate hikes and the 10-year note going to 5%. Uh, and I, I TFMR, like, it ain't going to happen. I mean, just the federal government's debt service costs at 5% would be untenable. But then you throw in mortgage rates and credit card rates and everything else. It just wasn't going to happen. And we got to three and a quarter. And like I said, the stock market, which was already down 10%, fell another 10% into Christmas of 2018. And it was at that point, Powell changed his mind. Now, they didn't actually start cutting rates until June of 19. But again, as 19 began, all these forecasts were for four or five rate hikes, okay? So they went the other direction. With the important thing for gold and silver investors to recall is that 19 and 20 uh, were pretty good period for gold and silver. When the curtain gets pulled back and you realize, you know, they're full of crap and that they're, they're normalizing the balance sheet and getting rates above inflation and stuff. That's when gold soars. So what's coming again is the Fed is going to have to make a choice. They can talk all they want about, you know, what was, uh, Fed Goon Dudley talked about uh, the Fed wanting to uh, inflict pain and losses on stock investors, and they're going to keep going. But when it comes down to brass tacks, they are going to side with their friends. They're going to side with the market. They've at zero interest rates, they have forced so many institutions, endowments, high net worth people, pension funds, uh, state and local pension funds, you name it, all into risk assets. Okay. And so they can talk all they want about breaking the stock market, but at some point they can't break all of those, all of those uh, equity holders and the like. And so they'll side with them. Um, anybody that thinks they're going to side with the regular people that are getting crushed by inflation, I mean, come on, man. They're going to side with the banks and where all the banks are invested and they'll pivot and they'll stop talking about hiking rates and they'll stop talking about running off balance sheet and they'll restart Q because we'll be in a stagflationary recession. It just is what it is. But again, we're not there yet. But when that happens later this summer, early fall, whatever, um, that's going to be the time that the precious metal soar because that's when the time that they've soared in the past. Yeah, no, I don't think that'll be. I think it'll be just like it was in 2019, just like it was coming out of, you know, when they, uh, that over that weekend in late March of 2020, when the stock market was plunging and the dollar was soaring. And then all of a sudden you got QE to infinity, you know, rates cut to zero, 120 billion a month in QE. And all of a sudden the stock market soared. Yeah, as did the precious metals and the dollar plunged. Uh, that's what'll happen again. I don't. I don't. I have a really hard time believing that uh, the 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 preponderance of equity investing now and how everybody from your next door neighbor uh, to the biggest pension fund are in equities. Um, I have a hard time believing they're not just going to rush back in, thinking, "Okay, here we go again." I and mean, Bitcoin will probably go back up too. Um, 
but it's this everything bubble that just has to keep being blown up because they again how are you've already let's just take the one example of state and local uh pension funds that have all you know they're all trying to meet these bogeys of eight or ten percent growth in the first place they can't do it in fixed income and now their fixed income portfolio whatever they do have is getting the crap kicked out of it this year on higher rates and the stock market's down 15 percent. well how are you going to reset that before we continue help us clicking that youtube like button and subscribe now to our channel this shows the algorithm that you valued this information and it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. I have bad news for you. If you're not rich by now, you're screwed. And if you're in debt, you're even double screwed. How so, you might wonder. Well, the sad truth is that you're working your whole life to make someone else rich. The mega corporations, the banks, the politicians, Everyone is getting richer. They get your money. And what is even worse, they get your time. They get your life. You are not even in a rat race. You're in a financial prison. But what could a solution for you look like? Honestly, I don't know. But I know what a solution for me would look like. It's very simple. I use whatever money I have and I multiplied with 1,000. This could make my life much easier and probably yours as well. If you have $1,000 available and multiply this with 1,000, I believe that this could solve some financial issue for the one or the other. Of course, if you're ugly, you would have to multiply it with much more than 1,000. My name is Marco Stan, and this is what I decided to do. I decided to 1,000x my money. This is not a joke. I know what you may be thinking. You know, what, what, what is this guy talking about? You know, how should this work? This is not possible. Well, I made a detailed video where I laid out my plan. And some clever folks might even want to look at this plan and copy it and do exactly what I do. This is just a little hint on the side. You have two options. You leave, you forget what you have seen. You do whatever you're doing and you hope that somehow you get some other results. Good luck with that. Or you click the link below the video. You enter your email address because I'm not showing this to everybody. You at least watch my video on how I plan to 1000x my money. The choice is yours. Make the right choice. Join me. See what a different future you could have. See at least how I intend, how I plan to do the 1000x. So click on the link below, enter your email address, and I see you on the other side. Your Marco Stan.